Hello family and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Dr. Yogi. It is so good to see you today. So here on my channel, you will find tips and tricks for navigating residency, as well as vlogs of my journey from family medicine residency to maternal child health fellowship. And so, you know, if that is something you're into, please stay tuned. This video is about my days leading up to my board exams, the family medicine board exams. I mentioned that previously uh, as far as a uh, standardized test that all family medicine residents have to take to kind of say that we all learn the same thing. So if you're interested in seeing how those days leading up to my test went, how I was feeling on test day and some of the test day procedures, then please stay tuned and don't forget to like this video. All right, guys, enjoy. Hey everybody, so it is two days before my exam and I'm just kind of spending that time doing questions and studying epidemiology and looking at that USPSTF guidelines or recommendations. And so I just wanted to update you all about the um, question bank. Initially, I was doing my study, you know, all my studying with um, the AAFP board review course and the ABFM app and like all those questions that are free to the people who are already um, members of the AAFP. So, um, and if you're interested in how I was studying, I'll link the video above, but I ended up getting Board Vitals, um, which is the, a Q bank that I mentioned in the previous study video, just because I kind of wanted more questions, you know, the AP, the AAFP and the ABFM app and the ITE exams, they're repetitive. Um, and so you don't, you know, you run out of new material. And so you don't really know if you know it because you know it, or you know it because you remembered it from when you checked that question out before. So I just kind of wanted some brand new questions. So at this point, you know, I've already gone to my test site to see you know exactly where it is where the door is how to get into the building so that is not something i'm going to be stressed about on test day and um like i said i'm just going to keep doing the 75 question blocks and reviewing them i already did one this morning i just have to go and review it and then i'm also going to do some um of my USPSTF review i'm actually gonna pull in my husband for that and have him quiz me yeah you know why not use your resources right <laughs> Um, and then I'm also going to do the epidemiology lecture on the AAFP board review series because I like to say that for last so it's the freshest thing on my mind. So test day, I'm rolling in, putting my equations down and I'm ready to go, you know. So to talk about the board vitals really quickly, there are some pros and cons as with all QBanks. Um, and I've done quite a few questions now so I feel like I can, you know, speak on this. Uh, some of the pros I would say is that you can do your time test so you can pick your number of questions which is 75 that's what I've been picking to do a standard block to get used to that as well as time it with the 95 minutes for that block and I just go through them all and then I review them all at the end so I do like that you can do um, the actual test in the allotted time that is provided on the exam some other things sorry my camera is trying to oh, trying to go low on me drop it low okay as I was saying. So I do like that you can do the timed blocks. And if you want to do, like say you didn't have enough time and you wanted to do maybe 30 questions or um, you wanted to do 20 questions, you can change it from the total time of the test to the time per question. So you just do 30 questions and then you say you have a minute and 15 seconds per question. So it still gives you that same feel of that time test. I also like that there's a there's just really a good amount of learning within those questions. So you'll see a question stem and your differential diagnosis will come up. And I love that I'm thinking, um, hey, you know, this could be this. It's the answer over there and it's over there. You're like, hey, good. That means I actually know the material. It's not that I just knew the question. And so that's why I got it right. So some things that I didn't necessarily or don't necessarily like about the board vitals is one, you don't have a strike through option like you would on the test. So like if you say that you see your answers and you know one is not going to be the correct answer, you can't strike through it to kind of narrow down your answer choices. Also, there's no highlighting feature, which is kind of nice if you're like trying to hit the key points because their questions at some point, they're kind of um, long, like the question stems are long. And that kind of brings me to my next point of one of the things I don't like is to me compared to the ABFM questions, it seems like board vitals is so in depth like i'm like is is this what a family medicine doctor is supposed to know because i i feel like 
like I'm supposed to be a hematologist. Like, what I did not know I signed up to be an oncologist, you know? And so uh, that I will say that that's one thing I'm like, eh, I don't know if that necessarily resembles the ABFM questions or the board questions. There was one question that was like three paragraphs long. That was the STEM alone. I couldn't even remember what I read in the first paragraph. So I don't know if the ABFM was gonna be like that, but you know, I think the content is really good. So the last thing I wanna do is update you all on the changes from the Prometric Center regarding uh, protocols for coronavirus. First thing is you have to have a mask in order to come into the test. If you do not have a mask, you will not be permitted in and you will lose that $1,300 you have spent on the test. They will mark you as a no-show. So please make sure you have a mask. They are accepting cloth masks and they are accepting the like surgical mask, the medical mask, but they will not allow you in if you have a mask that has that exhalation valve or like some type of vent on it, it's a no-go. So don't even try to come in with that. Keep it with the cloth mask or the medical mask. Another change is they used to have a proctor come and walk through the testing center. There'll be no more walkthroughs. Also, they're going to space people to allow for social distancing. So we won't be like right next to each other in the cubicles, you know, hopefully that's the plan. Um, which, you know, that might be a good thing because I don't know when y'all took your test, but when I took mine, everyone takes different tests at the Prometric Center. It's just a testing site. And so some people have tests that involve a lot of typing. And so I remember being in my test, having my earplugs in, and all I could still hear was that tickety tack 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 tickety tack 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 And some people can be aggressive. Like, you know, some people can be really aggressive with them keyboards. And so it might be nice to have a little less tickety tack during my test, but um, that's also something else they're gonna do. They're gonna space the examinees. All right, guys, I think that pretty much gives you an update on what's going on with my studying. So the next time I'll see you, it will be test day. All right, test day. Let me stop. I'm gonna go. I gotta go back to studying. Let me be productive. Good morning. So it is test day. I woke up around 6.15. Honestly, I didn't sleep that well. I don't know why. I just couldn't turn my brain off, but it wasn't even about the test. It was about just other random thoughts. Anyway, so today today is test day and um, I am on my way to the testing center. So we will see how things go. Okay, so I pulled off and I was like, oh, oh, oh let me do my checklist one more time. So I have my cloth mask, I have my e-ticket, I have my earbuds or like my earplugs, not earbuds. I have my snacks, I have my study material. I think that's it. Yeah, so check, 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 check. Oh, and my driver's license, check. All right, so I made it to the testing center. I actually missed my turn, but the good thing is I came to my testing center before my test date, so I was like, that building looked familiar. I think I was supposed to turn back there. So here we are. Um, I'm just waiting to go in. I'm gonna do some light review before, um, just kind of going over my epidemiology. I put them on like all the equations on a card. I'm just gonna go over those as well as kind of some USPSTF recommendations and I'm gonna head in. I was asked to come at 7.30, so it gives me about 20 minutes to review some things and I'll bring those materials in with me. So when we have breaks, if I need to kind of refresh on anything, then I will um, look at it then. All right, so I finished that test. That thing took forever. Like I was like, oh my God, I've been here like six hours already. Oh my goodness. The first two blocks, I was like, yeah, this is good. I'm doing all right. That third block, I was like, what? What What kind of question? And then the fourth block, I, I don't even know. But I'm happy that's over. That was a beast. And I ended up taking breaks in between each um, block. I just did 30 minutes just because I was trying to keep my morale and my mentation high. But like toward that fourth block, didn't even matter. I was like, what are they asking me? I had to like keep reading questions twice, but I will say for the most part, I feel decent about it, but I'm gonna probably call some of my, some of my co-residents that I know took the test today and just get their overall gestalt of the, or gestalt, gestalt, get how they feeling about the test. Cause I was kind of like, I don't know this. Some of the questions were like, yo, you know it, it's good. But some of the questions were like, 
yeah i don't know i don't know what i couldn't study for that like i had no idea it was like i just knew i didn't know it like i couldn't go back and try to derive some answer like i just did not know it so we'll have to see how it all pans out but i am gonna call it quits for today guys until the next video i will holla at you later bye